Well guys, congrats to the Boston Celtics on winning the 2023-2024 NBA championship as they are now the favorites to enter the next season and win the NBA title as well. Congrats to them, of course, in today's video by the title of it. We're going to talk Madden 25. We're going to break down the key features that are in the game. We're going to talk about the new Boom Tech franchise and presentation, the new announcer booths that they're having, and of course, obviously, presentation and stuff like that. So, if you're into that sort of stuff, hit that sub button, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, all of that good stuff in the comments down below. A couple really good Euro games yesterday, that France and... Um, I believe it was Austria game was really good and Bappe did get hurt and has a broken nose I believe now so he may be out for a little bit but France did get the win 1-0 so congratulations to them. The schedules for the 2025 or 2024-2025 Premier League has officially been released. Tomorrow we'll break that down and talk about it. Thursday I'll give my predictions for the Copa America and then Friday of course we will have our Franchise Friday as well. So that's kind of the outlook for the week. Let's go ahead, though, and talk, hop right in to our Madden 25 features that we got to break down. All right, so there's three categories here. It is Boom Tech, um, it is Franchise and Presentation, and then it is Live Gameplay. So we're breaking down these three different categories and going into them in depth. So starting off with Boom Tech here, it is Field Sense, obviously, is taken to the next level with this new physics-informed dynamic tackling system only on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and PC as well. So I believe there's like three or four different types of things that they say on, in this article, so we're going to break them down. First of all, it is physics-based tackling. It says cut loose and attack the ball with the powerful hit sticks. Cut sticks, trucks, divides, and stiff arms with more control and realism than ever. A new data-driven physics system consi considers timing, momentum, weight, speed, strength, and player ratings to inform one-on-one -on -one ball carrier impact for a wider variety of explosive and authentic physical outcomes. So, obviously, last year's, I believe, system really didn't work for a lot of people. I think Madden was a little bit too high on last year's physics tackling stuff. So I think this year they're trying to get that gameplay right. We've seen it with EA College Football 25. And now we will see if that is going to translate into Madden, where obviously you have the physics-based tackling and stuff like that. So that's a big part of that. Also, remember, they did drop the cut tackle rule, I believe is what it was in the NFL. So no hit drop rule for the NFL which is going to be one that in past Maddens they had to kind of structure around, but now they don't have to do that as well. Next up is Reloaded Hit Stick. It says, bring the power in every phase of the game. The re-engineered hit stick uses a timing-based mechanic to provide, provide harder hitting control determined by your angle of impact, stick skill, and accuracy for cut sticks, big hits, and trucks with more realistic physical movements and results. So, obviously, basically just saying, hey, we're trying to get better at this with the fumbles and stuff like that. So, I'm wondering how that is going to be implemented in the game as well. And then our last one for this boom set to technology is ball carrier balance. It says, run the rock with confidence and command. A new ball carrier balance and recovery system gives you the control to absorb a big hit, break the tackle, and recover your balance based on the quality of the hit and the ratings of the players involved. So, it's kind of what we're seeing in EA College Football right now. Based on your player rating is going to be how effective they are with the ball carrier and stuff like that. We've seen a little bit of it in EA. We've heard that a 5-star is going to be different from a 3-star. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same type of thing, whereas Jake Jettas over here may not or I guess Christian McCaffrey, for example, running back stunt wise is going to have a better control over the ball than, say, a obviously Jameer Gibbs, who's in his second year or something like that. So that's going to be interesting to see. That is pretty much it for the boom sense. Now we can go on and break down the franchise part of this news that we got. Moving on to our next topic, which is franchise. It is franchise recharged is what it says here on the franchise and presentation value. So, it says franchise takes it to the next level with a rebuilt NFL draft night featuring Roger Goodell. I'll talk about that in a second. Team and rookie records 
new environments, personalized storylines, more ways to customize your NFL team and season, a fresh Super Bowl celebration experience, and Franchise Central with simplified league creation tools and more information at your fingertips so you can drive your franchise to victory. Experience these updates to franchise on PS5, Xbox Series XS, and of course PC. Now, really quickly, there's a whole lot we're going to talk about just in this little paragraph here. Starting with Roger Goodell announcing the draft picks. This has been something that I think a lot of fans really wanted in Madden 25 like we have in real life where Roger Goodell comes on stage and obviously announces them. Now, I'm wondering if in franchise the, the top 10 picks or so are going to come up on stage. Maybe not give a speech or anything, but if you're watching it on your Xbox as you're doing the draft, if they're going to come up on stage and they'll show that a little bit in that gameplay as well. That is what I'm worrying about, but I'm really excited that Roger Goodell does finally get to announce the NFL Draft in franchise mode, because I think a lot of people were like, hey, franchise has been kind of the same thing over and over again, what we've seen with the past iterations of Madden. So, this way, they're customizing it. Obviously, you can create new teams and franchise as well, and you can, all, I believe, don't quote me on this, is what they're implying here, but you could create your own schedule, which will be nice. You can play your own teams with the different the schedule that you want. I'm assuming that you could do that. Now, obviously, you're going to want to play the easier teams, but you can create your own schedule, which is very nice. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. And then, obviously, new storylines. I'm wondering what that is about as well. And then new Super Bowl celebrations. We've seen in the past where they literally just lift the trophy and it's confetti. So now I'm wondering what type of animations are they going to be getting into here. Now, moving on to our next part of franchise is experiential storytelling, which we talked about as well. So we're going to break this down. It says, new narratives shape personalized storylines across franchise and Superstar on PS5, Xbox Series S, X, and PC and franchise. Major play, player mid personalities convince star players to sign contract extensions and find the team culture and, prove, and improve their roster in off-season workouts. Stay informed with priority messages and breaking news and build a legacy through choices that teammates and coaches remember in Superstar immersive yourself in new stories with from the NFL draft, obviously with Roger Guido, to the Super Bowl presser with every experience, quest, and decision influencing your unique player journey along the way. So, really quickly here, I'm wondering if it's going to be kind of like face of the franchise or something like that. You get to walk into the press booth for the first time is what they're implying here. You get to answer questions about the press. A lot more questions than normal as well. So those are two really good things that I think are happening in franchise as well. Um, players in influencing your other players, where they sign is a big deal. That's kind of what builds a team together is the players. So with that said, that one is a big deal as well. Players influencing other players' decisions on where to go and where to stay could be a huge factor within the NFL and how your team does. Now, the next one is reimagining, reimagined presentation. This is the one where it talks about the new broadcast booth, so I will go over that one in a second. But it says a new era of presentation across models or modes introduces fresh and authentic NFL sights, sounds, and stories that feel, look, and sound different. New pregame monta montages and superstar and ultimate team focus move on your players and their storylines. Re-energize environments and camera angles. Bring an upgraded perspective from kickoff to Super Bowl celebration. New broadcast teams and commentary add to the most immersive audio experience in the history of the game. So obviously, right then and there, they've confirmed, hey, we're having a new broadcast team. It's going to be Mike Tirico and I believe some other lady, which is going to be really cool to see as well. You can have different these different options when you're doing it. So that's going to be really cool to see in franchise as well. That's pretty much what it basically is saying. There's a new presentation and stuff like that. But now we can talk about the commentary teams, which it says play-by-play -play never sounded so good. The two new teams joining the booth to accompany Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis for the first time in eight years. Greg Olson, Mike Tirico, Brock Howard, and Kate Scott are here to bring your play experience to life with over 35,000 fresh recordings 
only on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and PC, of course. So, that is what I'm most excited for. I'm most excited to hear the new audio with Greg Olson and Mike Tirico. That is going to be a great deal. And then Brock Howard and Kate Scott, I wonder if it's going to be like a CBS-style presentation or something like that. But that is it for franchise. I'm wondering if that is going to be implemented into, obviously, the actual gameplay of itself where you can choose who you want to have broadcast to teams. But that's pretty much it for franchise, and we have one more section to break down. All right, so our final topic here of the day is, of course, game modes. We already know all the game modes. It's Ultimate Team, Superstar, Head to Head on franchise as well so obviously i'm just going to break them down what it says it says starting off with ultimate team it says build the ultimate football roster with more customization options that simply simplify lineup adjustments and include new challenge types so they're going to add new challenges in the game which is nice i'm kind of burnt out on ultimate team myself but i'm glad that they're adding new challenges for everything it says solo season and fresh playbook content every update Collect rewards with refresh content all year long and score new ways to play, including a 6v6 arcade-like experience. That is what I'm really excited for in Ultimate Team. I think it's going to be really fun. So, basically, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you get to pick the six players that you want, which is going to be great for Ultimate Team. Then it talks about franchise and stuff like that with the new NFL draft experience. How we broken down. Then it talks about Superstar. It says, to show the world what you're made of in an action-packed and unique player-driven mode. Customize your avatar, dominate the league, show off in showdown, and collect rewards in year-round live events and dynamic seasonal experiences, all while progressing your Superstar to legendary status. So this is going to be really fun as well. It's going to be a great one to see. I'm interested to see what it means by show the world what you're made of i'm in i'm wondering if it's going to be like a storyline or something like that so that's going to be very interesting to see in madden as well and then finally you have the online head-to-head -head where it says climb redesign leaderboards by playing competitive seasons and mastering the new rank structure in head-to-head -head divisions head-to-head -head divisions by the way might i add achieve greatness while earning items from an upgraded reward system along the way so i'm wondering if it's going to be more fair for me kind of burnt down on ultimate team so i'm not sure how long i'll be playing that i think the franchise stuff intrigues me more but yeah you guys go ahead and let me know what you guys are most looking forward to in madden 25 anyway that is where i'm going to hop off get this video edited so you guys can watch it on time once again if you haven't already hit that like subscribe turn that bell on we are best to post on this channel every single day like i said tomorrow we will do something here. I think I said it earlier, but I'm not sure what I, I remember what it was. So forgive me for that one. But Thursday, we will have Copa America predictions. Obviously, Friday is going to be our Franchise Friday as well. So that's where I'm going to hop off, get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.